How's it going, man? Say, man, you got an under 60 gram wireless ergonomic mouse? It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> You're riding with Laura Gatrulo. Welcome back to Zora's Gaming. I had to pull a few strings to get this. I had to do some some terrible things. Cooler Master's really not messing around. It seems they're 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 really trying to elevate. I was just looking at my Cooler Master warranty page. We all had that Evo cooling unit, the 212. Was it the 212? Not to mention their cases are wonderful. Notice the H500M sitting back there. Beautiful case, fantastic case. Now they're trying to take over the peripheral world. And they seem to be doing a damn good job so far. I really wanted to show you guys this because I just got it and I thought we need to do this. This is gonna compete with the Super Light, which is about the same weight, but ambidextrous. And ergonomics making a comeback, man. I've been getting back into ergonomics. It just makes logical sense, right? If you have a right hand, you're gonna have a better grip on something that's built for the right hand. I'm actually excited about this. I'm not, I don't normally get excited about mice lately. Well, that's not, who am I kidding? I, I'm, I'm always excited. We got an ultra weave cable. Don't know why that matters. Hybrid wireless tech. Ooh, Bluetooth 5.2 to connect multiple devices. That actually sounds kind of cool. I'm not sure what the exact MSRP on these is gonna be, the retail, probably gonna be around 80 bucks, I wanna say, 80 to 100. I'm a big fan of sharing in the excitement. Quite simple here. This actually reminds me of the old school days when they just had this little plastic sheath. This is light. This is light for a, for a, for a large ergonomic mouse. It almost feels starlight light. Wow, this is cool. I don't think I've ever, in fact, I've never experienced an ergonomic light wireless mouse like this. It's actually kind of pretty. I like the gray. What do you guys think about that? Kind of industrial. I feel like I work in a factory. I feel like life's kind of mundane. Maybe I'm kind of bored with life. Maybe I've worked at this factory for 20 years. Maybe I want a new life. Maybe when this button lights up, that's when life begins. That's when you make it, make it yours, as they say. Make it yours. I say make it Zors. That's what I say. Okay, let's check out the feet real quick. They're thin, first glance, first feel is thin, kind of have a different kind of a feel. Not getting any creaking. Buttons sound good, sound pretty fierce. Little rattle. I'm not gonna let that ruin my day though. Feels good, feels solid. Like right automatically, you guys know you guys know when you open up a mouse, it's that first, you know, there's something else that's exciting that to open up for the first time, but I guess uh, I'm talking about keyboards. Smallery, death addery, lightery, wirelessy, uh, very coolery, cooler master, in fact. Let's see what else is in the box while we're at it. Some side grips. Cool. Very cool, we might play with those. This is about the most exciting thing that's happened to me this week. That's, that's not good. A cord, a little thing. I'm guessing this is the receiver, cord. Plugs in here, simple. And that's about it. So straight to the point, direct, you know. Uh, I'm not a big unboxing guy because frankly, the, the idea of the box is to get the product to you in one piece, and they did that. I do like manuals. See, we didn't have any internet in, in, in those days, kids. You had to read. If you, if you lost the manual, you were straight You just can't play with your thing. Your thing is done. You used to have to call people on the manual. There was a phone number that you had to call to get technical support. Yes, yes, imagine the horrors. What's in here? Oh, oh my God. I discovered something. There's a trap door underneath here where all of your hopes and dreams just pop right out. Whoa. 
the Viper Ultimate has a door, and I say, I say, f this door, okay? This door has to weigh half a gram. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. You wanna know who killed JFK? It's on here. You guys never seen that movie? MM731. You can easily raise the roof. Let's check out some Valorant. Ooh. First two kills. First two kills, you're seeing it live. Oh, dead. I'm I'm kind of loving everything about this to be honest. I'm My first impressions are are really strong here. Pretty responsive, pretty clicky. I, they don't feel cheap. They feel like pretty sturdy. Let's talk about the wheel. It takes a little pressure to wheel up and down if you do it slowly. But then it has this thing where if you if you just do it, it it, it moves fine. Very silent, which I like. The clicks feel good. Wheel clicks feel tactile. Side buttons feel crispy. They don't feel cheap, cheap, cheap. They feel solid, crispy, like they're, they're doing a job. Wheel feels great. Clicks on the wheel, a little heavy, but I like ultra light middle wheel clicks because I don't really use the middle wheel very often. And if I do, I don't want it to impede my, my holding of the mouse. I'm going over here, I, wanna, I just want to tap. But hey, that's me. How many people really care about that? Shape of this thing is, it's, it's, it's getting me a little aroused. I gotta tell you. Feels solid, no creaking. I mean, even this, even my Starlight Small was creaking. Look at that guy. I'm, I'm being serious right now. I, I can't believe how much I love this thing. I, I've only played with it for 10 minutes and I'm just completely shocked. I know that some of you really like the super, super, super fast feet. That, that, this isn't that. On the website it says 95% PTFE. Um, uh, you can feel more texture with these feet, with the stock feet. Similar to the Viper, unlike the Superlight, which is more slidey, and this thing, which is extremely slidey, given the small four feet. I love it. I love the heavy texture. I love being able to feel every grain. This is the... Uh, Cordura, the new Cordura tray gun pad has a great feel to it as well. I'm a texture type person, you know? I feel the skin when I touch somebody. Put the lotion on the skin while you're at it. The sensor position is extremely forward facing. It's almost as if it just can't wait. Can't wait to get out and play. Just wants to hurt somebody. Let me out. It's like an excitable puppy. If you look at this on the super light, see how different that is? Remarkably different. This is gonna be a number one factor for some people that they really like sensors in the center or sensors in the rear. I cannot play with a forward facing sensor, I refuse, but I, I, I'm not like that. Uh, I kind of adapt to the center position as long as the weight distribution is there. You know, she gotta have curves in the right places and, and this thing does. You, I mean, you just have to get used to it and get a pen to kill while you're at it. Oh, see, don't brag. Don't take your hand off the mouse. Don't be bragging. It's really hard to show this, but I'm telling you, I, I, I'm, off the, I'm off the mat right now. I'm not touching the mat. It's minor, not a big deal. You know, it's not Starlight. Liftoff is probably less than, than uh, one DVD on a Starlight. This has a little bit more, but really, you know, who cares? Two-year warranty, in case uh, some of you were wondering. That's pretty good, two years. According to the numbers, it should feel monstrously different, and it doesn't. It's different, don't get me wrong. It's different, but it's not monstrously different. Okay, I'm gonna do something crazy. I think this weighs less. I think that weighs less. If I'm wrong, um, I will give away my Starlight Medium to the first person that comments you're wrong. I'm just kidding. I'm not ready for that yet. Uh, on a side note, I am gonna be doing giveaways. As soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna celebrate. Someone's getting a he-in. The, the, the clicks are tight, controlled. I, I just, I have not played with, with a wireless mouse that has this ergonomics 
Oh man. I wanted my pen to kill. Damn him. It feels like it's attached to my hand, okay? Do you guys remember the first time you, you held a death adder? The first time. But you were just like, holy shit, what the f like. It's like that, except better in every possible way. I mean, I dig everything about this so far. I love the gray and white. I love the, the one little purple Cooler Master icon. It's not gaudy. It's not flashy, blue, red, green. This is beautiful. All right, all right, all right. Seven grams. The manual weighs seven grams. I've settled that Reddit debate. 58 grams. Wow. Was I right? You guys remember what I said? This one feels heavier. I detected that two gram difference. Is that, is that elite or, or is that a sign that I need help? We're gonna do a medium starlight. See how that goes. 49 grams. Okay, we're talking about a nine gram difference for something that costs, at the moment, five times as much. Uh, let that sink in for a second. Let's look at the ergonomic competitor here. 73, um, and it has one of these, uh, what do you call it, this thing, wires. We know about the Viper Ultimate already at 75. Okay, so I think the point has been made here, right? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I know a lot of you guys are hearing that there's some sort of double click issue. I'm not seeing any issues here. Looks good to me. 167 with the wire. 166 without a wire. Pretty sure that lets you know the story here. As you guys know, I always like to review a mouse using two different pads. So you get a really good sense of it. Two pads. This is the Cooler Master Pad, the MP511. Prior to this, I was using that new tray gun by X-Ray Pads, both of them Cordura Pads. And I'm sure you can smell a Cordura review comparison coming soon to a theater near you. As you'll see, I'm playing with the cord. Why am I doing that? Because I, I you know, they wanted to put it on the box, double weave cord, so, so damn it, I'm gonna play with it. The cord <laughs> is actually better than most wired mice. That's, uh, that's some icing on the cake type shit. See this button here? Then we go up to 3200, but where Cooler Master decided to take it on a, on a whole new level. So if you hit the button again, you go into the 8000 range. I can't even move. Maybe if I change the sensitivity to nothing. And then just for funsies, they have a red. Red means you might as well go f yourself because this is 19,000. I can't, there's no possible, anyways, I think it's hilarious. I guess they're just trying to show that the, the sensor, the 3370 can do it. Anybody gonna be buying this mouse because it goes up to 19,000 DPI? Apparently, if you download the Cooler Master software, you can go up to 38,000 DPI. Cooler Master has a reward program where if you're able to get one headshot, in an actual game with 38,000 DPI, they send you another free mouse because it's f***ing impossible. The battery is a 500 ma battery, which I think yields 190 hours. Did anyone notice that the cord is white? If you put the Cooler Master logo wireless receiver on the Cooler Master mouse pad, um, nothing happens at all except you feel super zores. Why is it not working? I plugged in the receiver because I didn't tell the mouse that I am now in receiver mode. It takes a lot of pressure to get it going, see? But once you get it going, no problem. The rubbery texture of the wheel, it's just phenomenal. I, I, I like the way that feels. Even the clicks, zero wobble. I mean, you have to try to hurt, you'd have to really try to hurt this thing to get a wobble. The coating is, is very, very awesome. Personally, I think that the coating on the, on the glossies like the Davina, is I just don't like it. I had a, had a little glossy phase, uh, kind of like an emo phase and you move on. So you can, it feels like the weight is coming from here. Now, whereas the Zowie feels like the weight is, is balanced. It's like a heavy, 
balanced thing with the sensor here. You can play this straight palm. You can play it claw. But you can even play it fingertip because there's no weight at the front. And, and, and the sensor's right there. So it, it's, there's so much flexibility here if you're willing to get used to it. It's a 19 by 11. These are gonna be higher, super light, than the EC3. Final mouse is lower and smaller in general, even the medium. Forget about the, the small, which is so clearly small. But the shape of this, and it really comes down to a lot of different factors. I've started to learn that that hump number is really important for me to understand if I'm gonna like a mouse or not. It's 122 by 39, 39.1 is the hump. And then we have 69, which is of course causing all of the pleasure that we're experiencing here uh, due to being 69 millimeters. What's this? What's this? The world's lightest wireless ergo gaming mouse. Except it's not anymore. That was last week. Do you guys remember computer games in the 90s? They were sick. The whole world would change every year because then all of a sudden there was a new engine that could do a thing you didn't even know was possible. And that's what the world of mice feels like today. Now I have nothing against Ninjutsu. In fact, I'm very excited to try their product because if you've been paying attention, you know that a mouse is not all based off of statistics and, and numbers and spec sheets and, and weight. There's more to life than weight. There's personality. And the body positivity movement lets us know that all shapes are beautiful. You have sensor placement. You have weight distribution. You have the coating. You have the feet. You have the clicks and the responsiveness. You have the wheel. There's so many factors that go into choosing a mouse. And it really comes down to personal preference. What you like, what your hand size is. Some people like great big things and some people like little tiny things. Some people like clicks that are heavy, some don't. Some people like Indian food, some people don't. Now, the mouse is not perfect. If I play La Cucaracha and I play it like a tambourine, there's a little rattle, a little tiny rattle. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. The grips that come with it, they're not like amazing. I wouldn't really use them. They're kind of crap. Oh, the wheel. It, look, if you don't like the wheel, you don't like the wheel. It's, it, it, it's a matter of, this is a straight opinion. The rubberized texture and this momentum thing, I personally love it. If you're a bunny hopper, you might not. Um, hmm. I think that's it. Because what they've done is create something that any style of grip can use it, it, it feels fantastic. It works for the office too with its Bluetooth and its great battery or competitive gaming. It's the lightest wireless ergo gaming mouse in the world at the moment. And it's all that for under $100. This thing is undoubtedly getting this insignia of Zors. The Cooler Master ain't playing, huh? I mean, first they come out with this thing and they're coming out with this thing. It feels like Cooler Master is doing to the ergonomic mouse what Tarantino did to Travolta's career in the 90s. Revived it. Now I wish I could give you a link and you all could go out and get one. But I can't. And if you can't get one, don't fret. Don't fret at all. Because you know, you just, you just gotta keep gaming, man. G-A-M-I-N. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the 1,000 subscriber Kian giveaway. Now also, if you're free Sunday night, come stop by Twitch. Let's talk, let's talk about mouses. Let's talk about mouse pads. Let's talk about how to get the love of your life back after indulging in character defects and ruining it. Next time you're gaming, just remember, make it Zoros. That's what I love about these new gaming mice, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> yes, they do.